Hey, hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today we're going to be looking at the GeoNode Boolean to see if we can make some basic animation. So, if I start here, I've got a basic scene, and in it, I've got this ball, and all I want it to do is I press play, is to come down and animate as if the, the ground opens up and the ball goes through and comes back. So if I just put a VP on and just drag my timeline to show you, it opens up and shuts. As simple as that. Now if I wanted to, so I'm shift clicking to bring up my uh, surface editor. For the plane, I could just go to shading models and shadow catching. It'll work in the same way, look. So gives the illusion it's opened up and then reopens and the ball comes out so let's have a look how I, I went about doing that so I'll load the blank scene up okay so we've got a scene to start off with so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go into my scene editor and I'm going to turn off both the boolean ball and the ground plane and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a null Give it a name if you wish. I'm not at this stage. I'm just going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to go to Properties. And under Primitive Geometry, under Add Modifier, go down and choose Procedural Geometry. It'll add it to the list under Add Modifiers. Double click it, like so. And then you'll have something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to use under Presets, Built In. We're going to take advantage of the new presets and click boolean pro geo so this adds most of the actual nodes we need the only other one we need is if we go down and it says procedural geometry add geometry the very top one we just need that so the first mesh is going to be the ground mesh so we double click it and we choose the ground plane like so the next mesh when we double click it is going to be the boolean like so for the boolean csg we want it to be subtract subtraction and then we're going to plug result into geometry and result into procedural like so and then what we've got is this so the actual ground plane now is actual the actual object that we're going to boolean and then if we go to the scene editor again choose the actual boolean ball if i just pull it down in fact until it hits the ground you'll see it boolean like so so all i want to do is get the little ball and drag and drop it under so it's underneath and parented to the boolean ball so basically now when i move it down as it hits the ground, it gives the illusion there's a hole opening up and then closing behind the ball. Like so. And then we can just animate that. So we can say, oh, by the time it gets to, let's say 40, uh, it goes down. And then let's say 80, comes back up. 120. So every 40 frames, it's just doing this. Like so. And there you have it. Very basic, but it does the job. So that's the basic of a basic way of maybe using it. So let's have a look at it in maybe a more complex scene uh, and see how we can use it in the, another in the same way, maybe, but in a more complex scene. So I've got this slightly more complicated scene. And what I've got is this like space station. I believe I got it off Turbo Squid or somewhere like that. I'll find it and put the links to everything like so. And it's just coming into kind of it's just slightly rotating. The camera's coming in. If I show you down here, just put VPR on quickly. Got a flat render of the Earth. So if you look here, it's just a faking it, a picture of the Earth from the Earth tutorial I did. 
uh, just like to with this stay playstation so i don't think it's textured but i've just added some lights to it we've got a boolean object a bit like what we did with the ball and then we've got a little spaceship so the plan is to to parent the spaceship inside the boolean object which will be transparent and when you hit the space door the space door will open because or look like it's opening because the actual boolean will be hitting it so <laughs> let's see if it all works or not so first thing we'll do is we'll add a null press ok and then properties add a modifier geometry double click uh, presets and then we'll add the geo so like before we've got the preset option here let's add to geometry result to procedural double click the actual boolean uh, csg subtraction for the first mesh it's our space door there we go space door and the boolean object is called boolean like so so obviously what we've got here is the actual uh, boolean object but i don't want to see it so we go to render and let's dissolve that up so there's nothing there also select the little spaceship and we want to bring this inside the actual boolean object which obviously i can't see at the minute so let's just make sure where we can see it and let's just bring it inside something like that and then the spaceship the little spaceship uh, we're going to drag and drop into the boolean like we did before with the little ball so they kind of parented then like so so when they come in it's going to hit this door and then it's going to boolean in now like before we need to turn the original space door off otherwise we'll have two and then when it comes in you'll notice look if we in fact let's just go in so we can actually see it gives the illusion that it's boolean the ship goes in like so okay and it's just kind of hitting the top so it probably needs coming down a little bit in this window but yeah i mean the other thing i think would be good as well because as you can see it hits about here let's have a look let's say frame so it hits there so let's animate this so the spaceship's there like so comes in boolean's in and then we want it to close again behind like so so what we should do is we'll also because this the door is set the 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 actual uh space door itself is just a circle so we can just rotate that to give the illusion of the iris opening so it's not a, a, a perfect it's more of a cheat but it's, it's still a good way of doing of doing it so what we could say is with the actual boolean object let's say by the time it gets to uh 40 it would have come here and it's going to hit around there so with the space door let's drag this keyframe look so i've gone on the space door time timeline and i'm just clicking this little arrow to bring the dope track up look and i'm moving the keyframe to 40 because i don't want it to do it till 40 and then let's go back to the boolean so it comes in and with this actual boolean object it's going to carry on going through to so we don't want to go too fast let's push it into there like so so yeah about 80 so if we go back to the space door hopefully you can with me by the time it gets to 80 let's go on to rotate so modify rotate and let's say 
the green handle look if we rotate to make it easy the green so the pitch we're going to say 180 so basically what we're doing is it comes in the iris spins it opens it goes through and then it shorts it probably could shut actually the other way because it's going to shut so what we'll do is it goes in opens up and then as it starts to shut which will be around 65 really it needs to go the other way so we'll insert a keyframe and then when we get to here we'll do it the other way around instead so we probably should have done it down here it'd be better so it goes in and then it reshorts like so but also if i come down here and just turn on vpr i've got a light inside the station so hopefully as it hits there we go you can see the light inside coming through as well and i know it's not a proper iris but it's kind of if you're far enough away i suppose i'm just faking the way it looks basically and then it shuts behind you going backwards like so but yeah i mean this is kind of the version one of the boolean and hopefully it'll get better in time but i just wanted to show you a couple of ways of how you can use it and how simple it actually is to use just so just to give you a kind of idea i mean i've rushed through this i would probably spend a bit more time and i would make this a lot better in fact if i get time i'll do a little render of it and put it on to show you the kind of render and stuff but yeah that's just the basic uh, geo no boolean option for making it boolean and a couple of ways that you can use it so hopefully uh you've enjoyed the tutorial please share subscribe uh, and look out for the next tutorial.